Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Uh, I get compliments all the time on my welds. Like every time that I build something, uh, people just are, are amazed at how well it was put together, the craftsmanship. I actually did a lot of work on the Golden Gate Bridge, um, skyscrapers, and I built a lot of the jets that you see up in the air today. Uh, so I just wanted to do kind of a uh, how-to. If you're just starting out, learn how to weld, you're really new to it, maybe you've got welding classes in school, I could probably teach you some stuff that they don't know. So, so uh, we'll go over some steps. If you have any questions, comment down below. Uh, maybe I haven't gone over something thoroughly enough, but hopefully you can follow along and uh, we'll get into it. What we're going to be doing today, our project is an exhaust. So we're going to cut this uh, at an angle here and just weld it at a, a perfect 90 there. Weld it so we don't have any leaks or anything like that. This is our weld machine. Looks like it's a, a Miller most valuable player method. So that's cool. To plug it in here, I've been just using this lately and I don't have power in here. I just went out all the way out to the, the power line up on the box thingy. So it, it goes way out there. You should see, I got a bunch wrapped up extra too, but um, I just hooked this up here. You can get shocked if you're not careful here, but as long as you don't, you know, mess it up, you're usually fine. It's, this is the best way usually. Stay back guys. For the gas, you need shielding gas. I use nitrous, it actually plugs right up to. Mm, extremely flammable, may explode. <laughs> Crack that open, 800 pounds of PSI there. Maybe it's just the way I weld since it's so much better. Uh, but I go through a ton of wire. Like wire is the most important thing that you're gonna need in this process. So smooth bead appearance results in minimal post weld grinding. So we shouldn't have to grind much after this. We got 2000 feet of wire. It might not be enough here, but uh, I, I got a whole pallet out back, so. Usually don't end up using this since my beads are so good, but we do have a grinder here just in case. Just to double check, you do have your glasses on, right? Because uh, safety first here, and we do not want any accidents to happen. Kinda messed up the, the curvature of the angle. You could probably fill that in there. The wire speed. A lot of people say you want it slow, but that just like, it takes so much longer. Uh, it's a lot better if you keep it most of the way up. And then, oh, it looks like the, the warning light there came on. Uh, and then the voltage too, uh, you're gonna want that most of the way up too. A lot of people use these welding tablets and they block all the light coming through. Like, I wanna be able to see what I'm doing. So I don't use these. Just a, a pair of sunglasses is usually enough. Sometimes for a few days, you can't really see much. The ground, as long as it's on the ground, what you want is as much distance as possible from your weld. I like to work with about this much wire, usually. Two to three feet is what I like to work with. Just some really nice beads, uh, stacking dimes, they call it, you know. That's a 45. It's a 45. It's gonna have to go like this. We can fill that in if we had to. You can see there the wires, you can patch it in sort of like a plaster. Just use your wire to fill in around there. You see that? Really nice plaster, and I can go over this the other way now. Is my nitrous up enough? Here, turn my nitrous up a little bit. Just gonna lay your knee. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. We're running low on wire. It's so much fun. Welder's acting kind of weird. The dimes are falling down in there and they're stacking up. We'll get a nice fill. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. <coughs>
All right, there, you can see uh, the be the dimes be stacked. Oh, I can still see through there. There's some, there's some light shining through. <laughs> but we'll take care of it. Now is when the, the, the part with the wire comes in. Now, you're gonna need wire for this. Time for one extremely, very thick, structural tack weld on the inside corner here so that it will never, ever break. You want continuous 10 minute weld here. I'm just gonna put one nice little tack weld. It's actually pretty clean, one of my better jobs here. Sometimes I do have to use a grinder to clean it up. I'll clear coat over this and uh, sand it down so that we can get a gloss mirror finish. I love spray painting, it's so fun. But thanks for watching guys. Come back next time when we actually teach you 12 ways to cut your limbs off in case of emergency. So as always, welcome to the channel. God dang it. What we're gonna do today... Uh... Take out everything. <laughs>